I'm now delighted to be joined by Benoit Dodgeville, co-founder and president of product at Snowflake. Benoit, such a pleasure to have you back on the program. Yeah, podcast. thank you for having me, of course. You were just on the main stage for the keynote. Can you walk us through the takeaways and from a technologist's perspective, what announcements are you most excited about? Yeah, so I think we are all focused on AI apps, right? That's, that's the, the major theme. And, and you know, uh, Snowflake is building a data cloud and we want, you know, apps and AI, you know, power apps to run in our cloud. And, and this cloud, you know, provides, you know, foundation for data. So, of course, we had many announcements on that category. Um, maybe the, the biggest one was, you know, Iceberg, Iceberg and our uh, associated Polaris catalog. You know, that, that was, you know, really excited. But also the, the focus on unstructured data, right? Processing images, text, and that's, you know, will be powered by AI. So I think that's a big, you know, theme. And as I said, running apps, complete apps, you know, that are powered by AI with Cortex. So Cortex, you know, many features, you know, completely offered as a serverless, you, you know, uh, um, uh, yeah, serverless, uh, serverlessly um, abilities to tap on, on AI power, you know, from these apps without, you know, worrying about setting up the infrastructure and, and the compute layers, uh, just you can use these, these functions uh, directly. Benoit, it's clearly all happening here at Snowflake Summit. You co-founded Snowflake in 2012, and over that period of time, it has become a global force to help mobilize the world's data. How has the advancement of AI become a cornerstone of that mission? Yeah, you know, from, from day one, our goal with Cherry was to democratize access to data. We wanted to make it extremely simple. Simplicity, you, you might have heard that you know, right. word you know, many times during the conference, but it's all about unlocking the power of data but making it simple to do so. And AI, of course, is, the, is, is magic. Uh, uh, all of a sudden, you can have business users, and th that was one of the challenge. You know, how can we help business users that you know, don't know how to interact with data in SQL or in Python? How can we help these, these users you know, interact with their data? The AI also has unlocked the, the, the way to analyze unstructured data. And, and that's, you know, as I said, is, is, is a really key aspect. Unstructured data is, is hard, you know, for machine to extract information because by definition there is no real structure. AI can understand the structure of this unstructured data, right? And, and can extract and help, you know, users to create chatbots. And, you know, we had demos with Cortex Search where you can really interact with your documents. In, in, in few minutes, you can set up this search uh, and have, you know, business users, you know, ask questions and, you know, get answers from, from the data. It's incredible, Benoit. This year, Snowflake is hosting the first of its kind developer day. Why was this so pivotal for the overall success of Snowflake? And what advice would you like to share with the builders out there watching here today? <laughs> yes, so as I mentioned, we are building a cloud, a data cloud, where we want apps to run inside our cloud and you know, AI apps uh, powered by data. Uh, and of course, these apps are going to be built by developers. So having you know, the best environment to build, run this application is so critical for us. So without developers, you know, they, there is no snowflake. We need you know, people to build on top of, of this amazing you know, set of, of services that we provide in our cloud. Um, yeah, so, so that's why, you know, developers have, have always been, you know, so Im important to us. And tomorrow is the, is the day of developers, right? It all kicks off tomorrow. And in its fourth year, the Snowflake Startup Challenge Grand Finale will take to the main stage and they will kick off Developer Day where the top three will face off and the winner will receive a potential investment as well as exposure mentorship from NYC listed companies. Benoit, from a founder's perspective, why is this competition so near and dear to you and how is Snowflake empowering startups to build in the AI data cloud? Yeah, you know, th this is really amazing. We have 
now so many startups that are only building for our cloud. And, and you know, our cloud is, is, is amazing in a way that we are completely multi-cloud. So it's a layer that, you know, abstracts, you know, the different, you know, public cloud vendors. So when you build an app on top of, of the Snowflake cloud, your app can run everywhere in every cloud, right, that we support AWS, uh, Azure, or GCP. Uh, and so, so as I said, you know, full startups are building the entire solution, you know, in Snowflake and with native apps. Uh, we make that so trivial. I, I always say native apps is really the iPhone uh, for our data cloud, right? You can put this, this application that you build, you can provide them, on, you put them on a marketplace. Users, you know, can click on these apps in a marketplace. Think of the marketplace as the app store for Snowflake. You can click on them, install them in your, you know, Snowflake account. So in your, you know, governance and security peri perimeter. And these apps now can have access to your data in total governance of, of your accounts. So that's you know, the type of things. It's really like the iPhone. We are creating a new, completely new ecosystem and a lot of startups are building on it. Benoit, I'm looking forward to the grand yeah. finale of the Snowflake Startup Challenge yes, tomorrow. Yes, me too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it all gets decided tomorrow. Benoit, such a pleasure having you yeah, back. Yeah, thank you so much, Ryan. Bye-bye. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. I'll see you soon. Thank you.